Well, this weekend, a local nonprofit is teaming up with Olympic figure skaters for an ice skating show that supports people injured in the war in Ukraine. All of the funds raised for the event will go towards prosthetic and rehabilitation care for wounded Ukrainians. Holly's in the Arc Lounge right now with the executive president and co-founder of the nonprofit, Vola Fund, and the vice president of medical and veteran affairs. Holly? Tyra, thanks so much. Before we get into the ice skating show, Skate for Ukraine, the forest song, we want to talk a little bit about the Vola Fund. Tatiana, you're the executive president and co-founder. Talk with us about what the Vola Fund does. Yes. Uh, Vola Fund is a registered Washington State 501c3 nonprofit. And we see ourselves as providing the partnership platform for high-tech projects in research, development, education, medical fields that help us boost and build, and build well-being in Ukraine. And we are fully volunteer-run. Mm -hmm. uh, we are really, really efficient. Our operational overhead is only 3%, which means that 97 cents from every single dollar we raise go directly to our projects. Mm. What inspired you to create this? So initially, Vola Fund was founded by four Ukrainian Americans. Um, but then later on, we were joined by our community members who have no ancestral connection to Ukraine, mm. but they share the same values with us. And those values are in believing that Ukraine is fighting not only for its own freedom, but Ukraine is really fighting for the world's democracy and freedom. And we are really, really inspired by the bravery that Ukrainians show in standing against this genocidal Russian aggression. And therefore, we believe that any, every tiny bit of the help that we provide to Ukrainians matters and increases the chances that Ukraine will stand. And if Ukraine will, will stand, the world humanitarian values and democracy values will stand as well. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned to the Vola Fund provides cost effective care and support to Ukrainians. How much need is there when it comes to prosthetics and other care right now in Ukraine? I will defer this to Yulia because she is the mastermind behind our <laughs> prosthetics project. Okay, so. Yulia, thank you so much. Tell us, tell, answer that question for us. Sure. First of all, thank you for having us here, and uh, that's that's a privilege to be able to uh, share our voices. Uh, the need for prosthetic and associated rehabilitation care uh, in Ukraine is immense. Since the beginning of the full-scale war in 2022, more than 80,000 Ukrainians uh, suffered severe injuries that resulted in limb amputation. And unfortunately, this number still uh, continues to grow. Um, and those people require not only being fitted with um, prosthetic limbs, but also uh, a prolonged uh, physical rehabilitation, psychological support, and uh, specialized um, occupational therapy for them to be able mm -hmm. to uh, reintegrate into society, uh, to become independent or for some of them to go back to the battlefields because uh, most of those, as you can imagine, are younger men yeah. who are eager to regain independence and return to defending their country, our country. This is really helping them do that, helping Absolutely. them get there. Yeah. Yulia, talk a little bit about the show and the partnership with Olympic champion Oksana Bayul. Tell us about that. How did that come about? So that's interesting. I'll take that. Well. You know, Ukraine has been fighting the Russian aggression for 900 days right now, more than 900 days, right? Mm -hmm. And the Olympics in Paris, right, that just concluded, I think Ukrainian athletes were able to show to the entire world the true spirit of Ukraine, that we will never surrender. And Ukrainian athletes, they kept winning medals, gold medals, silver medals. Ukraine is actually on the 22nd Place, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on the entire Olympics. And this is despite that 456 Ukrainian Olympians were killed in this two war, in this two year war by Russians. And also more than 500 sport facilities were destroyed. And Ukrainian athletes had to train under the air raid sirens, spending hours in the bomb shelters. But despite that, Ukrainians keep fighting on all fronts, including cultural, including 
diplomatic, right? Including athletic, including sports. So our athletes, regardless of where they are in the world, they are really eager to go above and beyond and to help. So they are seeking ways on how they contribute their talent, their athletic talent, to organize projects like that and to help. So this is how we partnered. Oh, that is so neat. Talk a little bit about the event this weekend. It's at the Kraken Iceplex. Yes, yes. Tell, tell me some information about that. What can people do if they do want to go out and support it and, oh, and watch? Oh, yes. It's a really nice event. You can go at vola.fund.com and you can see, you can buy tickets. And it's a mesmerizing ice show. It's an ice skating, it's a ballet on ice in two acts. It's inspired by a Ukrainian famous poem called mm. The Forest Song by Lesia Ukrainka. And there is, a, there is a, even an animation movie called Mafka about that that is, you know, that was featured in the US. And it's a truly cultural Ukrainian culture inspired story about love, about fight for love, fight for freedom, about forest creatures and city dwellers who unite to fight back and to restore the love and happiness. It's going to be really beautiful, kids friendly. So again, go buy your tickets till they are there. Okay, and it's this Saturday, it's yes. this August Saturday. 17th, what time? The doors open at 5 p.m., but the show starts at 6 p.m., uh, and it lasts for two hours. And I just wanted to say that uh, the show turns out to be uh, even more wholesome than we initially planned. Okay. <laughs> so I am sure that everyone who comes is going to enjoy it, you know, and make a good, uh, it, it may, make uh, the, the, the donation uh, mm -hmm. to the good cause, you know. Talking about this, you both just light up. How important is it to you both that, that you are here with this message and also, you know, talking about the show this weekend? Well, it's really, really important. Thank you for hosting us. I really encourage everyone to come. Mm -hmm. Again, it's going to be spectacular. The level is like Disney on ice oh, okay. with Ukrainian costumes that are made by local community here in Seattle. The fun fact that the costumes are being made by the elderly Ukrainian community. Our main tailor, he is 90 years old. Oh, amazing. Yes. It's oh, going to be amazing. looking beautifully. So we encourage everyone to come, buy tickets, donate, support enjoying the beautiful evening, seeing the Olympian, because Ukrainian Olympic champion Oksana Bayul is coming to support us, to perform with us. So the Olympian will be there. If you didn't go to Paris, mm -hmm. you, you can go here. A you little know? taste of the Olympics right here in Seattle. <laughs> exactly. OK, thank you both so much. Tyra, thank there you, you go. We've got some weekend plans now on Saturday we to check do. out the show and also support Ukraine. I love the community efforts, the, the thought put into the costumes. The show sounds fabulous, Holly, and even better, it's for a good cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for a great cause. Mm -hmm. Well, Thank if you're interested in attending Skate for Ukraine, the forest song, we made it easy for you. Scan that QR code you see on your screen, and that will take you to comonews.com slash hotlinks. From there, you'll find a link to the Vola Funds website. Very good.